This video introduces quadratic functions and one of its applications, a rocket launch. A rocket trajectory actually forms a shape that is called parabola. And you can map a parabola onto an xy coordinate where x is a distance and y is the height of the rocket. You might be wondering how can we use mathematics to describe or depict a parabola shape. Let's look at an example. If I want to graph negative 2x, I get a line. But if I raise the power of the variable x to 2, I start to see a parabola. If I want to make it a little nicer, I move it up by 5 units. Well, this is the graph of parabola using a mathematical formula. So if I, I pick a point on this graph, let's say 0, 3, meaning if you plug 0 into the x, you get 3 as the result. So if I expand the x minus 1 square and I distribute the negative 2 onto the x minus 1 square, I will get a different formula, 2x squared plus 4x plus 3. So these two formulas looked differently, but they're actually the same because they describing the same parabola. As you can see that, on the second formula, you have three different terms. You have x squared, you have x, and you have 3 as a constant. Okay. So this is actually the general formula of the quadratic functions ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, c are real constants. So if I want to graph a general quadratic function and vary the values of a, b, and c, as you can see that the shape of the parabola starts to change, it's stretching, it's compressing, it's moving up, it's moving down, it's moving to the left, it's moving to the right. But regardless of the value of a and b or c, the shape of the quadratic function is always it's going to be a parabola. Now that we already established the general formula of quadratic functions, we know that x is the independent variable. In this application, is describing the horizontal distance between the rocket and the launch station. And f of x is a dependent variable, is measuring the height of the rocket. Well, let's look at a more specific example. A rocket was launched at an initial height of 300 meters above the ground. It reaches the highest point, which is at 600 meters, and is landed on the ground, which was 700 meters away from the launch stations. As you can see that there's R4, Interesting points that we want to pay attention to. First, launch stations, and then the highest positions, and then there's the landing positions. But because of the nature of the parabola is a symmetrical shape, that means you can expect another landing position on the other side of the vertical line uh, that goes through the highest point. There's another point here. In one particular application, you only have one visible landing position B, but you might think about that there's another invisible landing position A. That is the reflections of B over the vertical line that goes through the highest position. Well, let's take a lo closer look at these points. First, the launch stations where you launch the rocket at the beginning, that means the distance of the, the rocket and the launch station is zero, x equals to zero. How can you find this point C? You just plug zero into the functions, and then the point that we find is zero and C, little c. How can we find the landing positions? Again, landing positions are the positions where the height of the rocket is zero because it's the points where the rocket reaches the ground, which means f of x equals to zero. 
how can we find a and b? We just set f of x equal to zero, and we solve for the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. Now go to the highest positions. Again, the highest positions is the point where a and b are reflected, meaning it's actually the midpoint between a and b. We know how to find c, which is simple. How can we find a and b, which are the landing positions? So finding landing positions is the same as solving quadratic equations, which is the same as finding values for the variable x, such that the equation is true. Let's look at an example. If you look at the quadratic equation x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals to 0, you want to solve for x. We can tell that x equals to 2 is an answer because if you plug 2 into the equation, you get a true statement. Also, x equals to 1 is another answer because, again, if you plug 1 into the axis, you have a true statement. The question is, how can we figure that 1 and 2 are the answers? Use some algebra. You can use some algebra tricks in order to derive a formula that can help us find the solution to the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. That formula is called quadratic formula. This is the quadratic formula using information of a, b, and c, or the constants, coefficients constants of the quadratic functions. Let's look at the same example. We know a is 1, b is negative 3, c is 2. Plug in a, b, c into the formula, we can find x equals to 2 and 1. So we found the same solutions, which means this formula works. All right, let's look at how a quadratic function depicts a rocket trajectory. We know the launch station, highest point, landing positions, which is found. The formula that can help us find landing positions, x1 and x2. And the highest positions, again, is the midpoint between the two landing positions, which means if you use the midpoint formula, is when you combine x1 and x2 and divide it by 2, then you get negative b over 2a should be the point where the rocket the positions where the rocket reaches the highest point. Negative b over 2a for the x value. And if you want to find the actual highest position, you can just plug negative b over 2a onto the functions f to find the highest position. And in mathematics, the highest position of a parabola or is called the vertex, the launch stations, or the points where the function started when x equals to 0 is called the y-intercept. And the two landing positions as at, at which f of x equals to 0 are called x-intercept. And we know we can find the first x-intercept and the second x-intercept using the quadratic formula. Well, we'll go back to our problem. And using all the information that we're given, we can find the function that measures the height and the distance of the rocket, f of x equals to this, this is quadratic formula where x is the distance and f of x is the height. And you can see that the rockets moving from the initial height go to the maximum height and goes down to the landing positions. Again, this video introduces an applications of quadratic functions. How can you use quadratic functions to describe a uh, real-world applications, or how can you use mathematics to explain the nature of the world?